It's Madden NFL 24. And coming up next, it's a cross-conference showdown. It's the 49ers and the Bills on Thursday night. On a gorgeous late summer afternoon, it's time for football from Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Tonight we are back to football. It's the Thursday opener for 2024 as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Buffalo Bills. The wait is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both? So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Flush to his right. Going to throw right side here, complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Run down, only about 500 more to go this season. He would certainly welcome most of his passes this year going as well as that. Now that the first one is over, time to settle into a groove and begin the long journey towards Week 18 and hopefully the playoffs. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Allen now looks to throw, escaping the pressure right. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. Seven yards there and a first down. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. Allen off the play fake. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Chase Young. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. Finding room at midfield. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. Touchdown. Gabriel Davis. 31 yards. And the Bills are an extra. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out. Able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. On play action, Allen. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. 
And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain there of 30 big ones. Despite writing it down in my notes, I've never given up credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. The quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. On play action, Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. Touchdown, Bills. Gabriel Davis, two catches. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They start the drive with Cook. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. He'll find Hines out of the backfield. And Hines is going to have a Bills first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs with career touchdown number 75. And the Bills have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. This with a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On first down, Allen. And Diggs has it. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively, and the key to any screenplay is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackle him for just a short gain. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. First down, here's the run with Cook. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On second down, here's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And Diggs will have a Bills first down as he's down to the 12. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Now is second and 10. To the air, Allen. And he'll throw this one away. But I don't think he was out of the pocket. 
No, here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. On third and long, it's Allen. Buying time to his left. Out to the left, he's got his tight end knocks. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Starting the third quarter with Cook. And he stopped immediately there. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Here's Cook again. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Yeah, every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener, and it's a first down. Now Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Here's Allen on first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Allen going to throw. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Allen now on the sneak. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll check this down to Hines. That one, a first down pick up of eight. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. Now the Niners get there and bring him down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. To throw, it's Allen. He's got a man, complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
Cook up the gun. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Now an option play on second down. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 22-yard line. Allen now on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Allen off the play fake, out to his left. That's caught, Kincaid for the Bills' touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. The Cook getting the call there on first down as he works his way forward for a nice gain of five. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. The Bills on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Allen now looks to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Returnable here from the 38. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And just a... So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll start with the option. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. It's a... On first down, Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Now second and four. Shotgun now with Purdy. 
And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Dorian Williams who got there for the sack. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Purdy, big fourth down play. He's going to let it fly. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't come in. Got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And now the Niners going to single for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. To throw is Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Bills first down, and that. Well, partner, the season officially.
It's week one of the NFL, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Eagles and the Browns, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Fun times in Cleveland ahead as we join you by the lakeshore here at Cleveland Brown Stadium. Today, it is the opener of the 2024 NFL season as we the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Cleveland Browns. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Watson now to throw. He's going to look deep for more. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fights through him. 43 yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. So back onto the field here come the Eagles. They'll start by running the option to the right. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and ten. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Here's Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. Partner, I like the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because this is an obvious passing situation, but instead they fooled him a little bit with the screen, and they wound up getting back what they lost, and then a little bit more. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Watson. Option left. Now the ball comes loose. Jedrick Wills, former first-round pick, guilty there. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Following the penalty, Chubb. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. complete. That's more. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. Watson being chased out left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Now they return to the ground game, Chubb. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. A 
On first and ten, Watson. It's caught, Cooper. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. Second down and four. To throw is Watson. Right back to Cooper, and he got him again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. They'll roll him out right. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Watson. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. York able to send this one through, and the Browns are out to a 3-0 lead. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touch. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's about, there he goes, left side. Pushes past him. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. 90 yards rushing for him in his first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. From the red zone now, Watson. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. So we're in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Now a first down throw, Watson. Man open, that's Anthony Schwartz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Watson on first down. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Now Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a... So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. York able to send this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL.
It looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Browns offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went into half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? They run again on first down, Chubb. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Here's second and 10. Here's Watson. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And it will be Eagles football, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Faking the give. Now Watson. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play that time for Cleveland. 52 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Now it's Watson. Touchdown, Browns. David Njoku, 23. Watson and that Browns offense going to stay out there, and they'll go for two. They'll look to throw, and this is going to be caught. So they do get it, and the two points. Now they're back down to a one.
touchdown. This offense back out there to see what they can do. They'll have a first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Flushed out right. And that is taken in by Njoku. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 39 yards, the distance covered on the catch and run. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Here's Watson now on second down. He'll find Schwartz complete right side. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. They'll look to throw again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 30 yards. And the Browns have made it a one-score game again. The Browns drive about to get started. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Jalen Carter in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Here we go. This is fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one in one of our early window games.
It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Panthers and the Commanders next on Madden Football. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today, it is the opener of the 2024 NFL season as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Washington Commanders. With my good friend, Charles Dape. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It was D.J. Johnson on the tackle. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Now second and nine. He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. They'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 36. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. 15 yards to pick up, first down Washington. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Another completion there, and you think about the draft back in the spring. He's selected in the first round, getting the start here, as we mentioned, in week one. It, it's got to be quite a whirlwind for a young quarterback. Absolutely, because going in the first round, People are going to clamor for you to be the starter right away, but many teams want you to get your feet wet first, you know, maybe just kind of hang out behind a veteran starter. In this case, though, he ascended right to the top role, and I know he's excited about the opportunity. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's a pickup of six. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their... Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., from three yards out. And the Commanders are at... At 
After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. Now he'll be marked down at the two-yard line. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson, two yards the loss, second and 12. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Here we go on second and 12. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. And it's fielded at the 34. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 7-0 on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here's the carol. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. He'll look to throw. Here's a screen for Robinson. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Flush to his right. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And he's not quite going to get to the marker. It'll be a gain of eight on third and ten. Another completion there. And what a big moment in a young quarterback's life, that first NFL start. And Charles, obviously, they want him to win games. But if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. 
And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll look to throw now on first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. First chance for the commander's offense now as they head out for their opening series of the second half. Charles... They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. They'll look to throw here. Sets up the screen to Robinson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two good reactions there defensively that screen was a little slow in developing and they shut that one down with little gain here now a third down and eight now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw and the throw there gonna be incomplete and so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter and many coaches do emphasize it and that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. So a change of possession here on the punt. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a play fake here on first down. This will be caught at Samuel. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looking to throw. And he will find his man, Samuel. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 32-yard line. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Robinson up the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's Washington with the football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. 
They'll look to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. It's their corner. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be out right at the 35. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And a good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Back to throw here. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. He'll drop to throw. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. This offense so far on third down, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be third and 19. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back to throw now on first down. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open. Now second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now first and goal. They'll set up a throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. Here's second and eight. This will be caught at about the five. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pickup of three. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Eluding the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A great play there. Now with... Big two-point conversion attempt still to come. 
They'll look to throw. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back with it a single point here in the fourth. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Less than 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Now Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Touchdown, Carolina! Terrace Marshall. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's Terrace Marshall who's able to cap things off with a touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead he does go down to a knee. And they'll bring the football out to the 25. Now Washington, down by eight, 70 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll look to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Back to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And once he got out of the pocket, you thought that maybe he'd take off with it, especially here in the two-minute drill. Sometimes defenses are focused so much downfield that there's room to run, but this time he decided to throw it unsuccessfully. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Back to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That was the big shot for the end zone. You've still got a little bit of time here. You have to expect we'll see another. And remember, no timeouts left. So if you throw it short of the end zone and you're tackled, that's going to be the ball game. And a big loss here as he's taken down. 
The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one.
It's the NFL on EA Sports. They begin the drive with Robinson. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the goal gets there. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. They'll start this drive out on the ground. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there. For no, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take. Here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. So the completion good for six yards, and now that sets up third and two. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Now Ritter to throw on first down. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, it's 9-0. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. On the give, here's Robinson. And he's going to be met at about the 43. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Ritter throwing on third down. That's out wide here for Robinson. And fights through one man. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Call it a gain of six on the play. And it'll be fourth down. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Ritter. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll get this one down to about the 27.
All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Ritter from the gun. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touch. Here's Ritter after that pick six. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Ritter. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy... They'll start this drive out on the ground. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and 10. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38-yard line, second and nine. Ritter will set up to throw it. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he's up to the 47. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. On first down, Ritter. And that's going to be incomplete. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Micah Parsons in. on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Ritter and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dallas offense set. Ritter on first and 10. Dancing to his left. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout 
as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Open man downfield is Duvernay. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Now Arthur Smith going to tell the offense to stay put. We're going for two. Ritter will throw for it. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit for... Second half begins with a run by Robinson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Ritter to throw it. Got a man. It's London. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On play action, here's Ritter. They've got a man downfield, it's Duvernay. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Ritter looking to throw on first and 10. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. He'll buy some time right. That is caught at the seven. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And how nice is it for him to know that when he gets outside the pocket, He's got a reliable tight end he can go to. So he's able to look his way, find his big target, and set up first and goal. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Second and goal from the six this time. Again, it'll be Robinson. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and they're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Third and goal, Ritter with it. And that is incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Here's Ritter. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. They can't. First down, here's Ritter. That one deep for London. And this one is incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Hand off now to Robinson. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. 
They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Back to throw, Ritter. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. Now they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. They'll run here with Robinson. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. The Ritter back to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to... Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That one deep for London. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Falcons. Drake London. start on the ground here on first down and he is going to lose yardage here two yards the loss second and 12 there's no question that coming into this game this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game and all that pregame whooping has turned into results first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12 Ritter now Targeting Pitts on the out route, and he's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. And this offense on third down today, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This time they face a third and two. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Good, clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Fourth down, big play. Here's Ritter. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. They'll run it now with Robinson. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Again, it's Robinson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 
Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set them up first and goal. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Robinson is into the end zone. It's a Falcons touchdown. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the... Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the... Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. David Onyemata. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Play action now. Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. Takes this one up past the 20 after he's able to make a man miss. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down, so that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 40. Now Prescott. That's over the middle to Schoonmaker. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Here's Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So now... Ritter looks to throw it. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the return will stop right around the 25. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this is incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well 
to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. But we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Ritter from the gun on third down. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the... On first down, Ritter. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Second and ten now, it's Ritter. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener. And it's a first down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson to about the 48-yard line. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Ritter cannot escape, and they bring him down. Mozzie Smith, he fought through to record the sack. Ritter and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. They'll set up a throw. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here's second down and three. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Well, they did the part they had to do. Quick throw, got the first down. But that doesn't allow them to relax. They still have plenty of work to do. Now Ritter. Flush to his right. And he's got this to Jefferson. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll run with Robinson. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Here now, second and goal. Ritter. And quickly, he just gets that ball out of there. Not quite sure what he was doing, and here comes the flag. Yeah. 
Uh, we saw it too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. Here's Ritter. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the... Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one.
It's week one of the 2024 season, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Dolphins and the Colts, and it comes your way next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today, it is the opener of the 2024 NFL season as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season and these two squads, they're going to do just that in a moment. And what makes it so exciting is the range of possibilities these teams have before them because we could be seeing one of these teams earn the Lombardi Trophy in February, while the other, they could earn the number one draft pick in April or anything in between. And we've got the best seed in the house every step of the way.
So following the fumble, this offense will get another shot at it as they quickly head back onto the field. Following the fumble recovery, Richardson got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. Now Richardson, he's going to keep it running right. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yard. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Emmanuel Ogba that time able to drop him for a loss. Third and 12. And Richardson back to throw it. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Going for it on fourth, here's Richardson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Here's the former NFL rushing champ. It's Jonathan Taylor, and he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Richardson escaping the pressure right. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again. At... And they'll send the tight end in motion here. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second down, another run with Taylor. And oh, he coughed it up. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will take over at the... So the football will be at the 20.
as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second down, another run with Taylor. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now Richardson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And he's going to return. So second quarter, this offense losing and hoping to get the football in the end zone for the first time. First and 10, Taylor now. And he loses the football a second time. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to get the... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this. Just to... So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. Now it's Richardson. Bulldozes past him. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Richardson, he's going to keep it running right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. Richards into the air on first down. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Richardson looking to throw this. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Michael Pittman, 32 yards. And the Colts have got it back to within a score. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10 save. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. And yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Fielded just inside the 30. Nice punt. 
The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into the... Maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Up the middle, here's Taylor. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Richardson looking to throw. And that is incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. He's got his target. That's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. play action now Richardson wide open is Watkins he's got it
getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a gain of 34. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. So a good grab there. And here's a guy, he had to learn the offense quick, just picked up as a free agent earlier this week. And usually there's a connection, isn't there? A past coach, someone from the front office who knew him from before and thought that he could help this team. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And the Colts are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining, so stranger things have happened. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Look at end zone, and he's got his man. It's Woods. Touchdown, Indianapolis. the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. First and ten, it's Richardson. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Richardson to throw. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Richardson out of the shotgun. That is caught. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And the offense moving quickly to the line. All the option to give to Taylor here. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Looking to throw, Richardson. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. The Colts on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and 19. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Richardson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it up. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week.